Calling all supers, because today we'll be diving into the world of The Incredibles. Released in 2004, The Incredibles has gone on to become one of Pixar's most beloved franchises, encompassing comics, video games, and even a direct sequel. With all these new additions to the series come new adventures, new concepts, and of course, new supers. The Incredibles world has given us countless heroes and villains. But out of all of them, which ones are the most powerful and which are probably not going to be saving the day anytime soon? I'm Caleb with Wicked Binge and this is The Incredibles Characters We Too Powerful. For this video, we'll be starting off with the weakest characters and then work our way up to the strongest supers. Our first character is here to start us off with a bang. Getting the gold medal of weakness is Bon Voyage. A villain who wields explosives and has the theming of a French mime, Bon Voyage is easily the weakest character on this list. He doesn't possess any powers, instead choosing to rely on bombs and the like. Without his explosives, he is not nearly as dangerous. That being said, Bon Voyage does appear to be more athletic than one would think. He was able to escape from Mr. Incredible, an extremely strong individual, so he is a little bit more dangerous than your average mime. Still, Bon Voyage's lack of powers, as well as a lack of screen time, make him an obvious candidate for last place. With that, we bid him adieu. Going from one villain to another, we have our Silver Medal of Weakness recipient, The Underminer. The villain who closed out the first film and started the second, Underminer again possesses no powers. He also doesn't seem to carry that same physicality that Bon Voyage had. So why is he even here? Well, what Underminer lacks in terms of strength is more than made up for in terms of an impressive arsenal. The Underminer controls a giant drill vehicle that is capable of rising up through the ground. He also wields bombs and a pair of robotic gloves. Together, these weapons create a villain who's more than a match for the Incredibles family. Even the combined powers of the Incredibles and Frozone could not successfully bring this villain to justice. While the Underminer might not be the most notable powerless villain in the Incredibles universe, his weapons are guaranteed to give any superhero at least some trouble. Earning the Bronze Medal of Weakness is our first superpowered character, Reflux. A senior citizen super, Reflux's power is that he upchucks hot lava. Yes, this is a superpower that's just as gross as it is deadly. Being that his power is the ability to expel hot lava, it should come as no surprise that Reflux can be quite dangerous. When he was under mind control, Reflux's hot lava even had the effect of disrupting Violet's force fields. Name's Reflux. Medical condition or superpower? While Reflux has a dangerous ability at his disposal, he probably isn't the best candidate to use it, explaining his low placement on this list. As he is an older man, Reflux is prone to motion sickness and can tire very easily. Hot lava may be dangerous, but a tired old man in spandex is anything but. Given these weaknesses, it's hard to place him any higher on our list, especially considering pretty much every other character on the list is still young. However, if you're a criminal with the fear of vomit and hot lava, then this may be the most powerful hero in your eyes. See, it's all about looking on the bright side of things. Our next pick is Screech. Another one of the many heroes introduced in The Incredibles 2, Screech's powers are very much that of an owl. He has the ability of flight, night vision, and an ear-piercing Screech that can break glass. A decent set of powers for sure, but unfortunately for him, we don't feel he has the most practical superhero abilities. This is the primary reason we placed him here. He doesn't have a clear weakness like Reflux has, but he doesn't really have any strength that could place him any higher. The night vision power does show some potential, but stealth can only keep you safe for so long. Overall, Screech has a creative set of powers, but he seems outmatched and outclassed by every succeeding character on our list. A tip for any fledging superheroes out there, want to be taken seriously by heroes and villains alike? Don't base your identity on an owl. 
Up next is the secondary antagonist of The Incredibles 2, Screenslaver. The centerpiece of Evil Endeavor's plan to destroy all superheroes, Screenslaver is another case of a character who has no powers. His abilities all come from his goggles, which can control people's minds. These goggles can be used against everyone, be they an ordinary citizen or a superpowered hero. The goggles are incredibly effective, but without them, the Screenslaver is powerless. He becomes just a pizza boy who is manipulated into villainy by Evelyn. Given that the powers only come from a specific piece of equipment, it's hard to justify putting Screenslaver any higher on the list. Still, it cannot be denied that there's definitely power to be found in having the ability to mind control potentially thousands of people through one set of goggles. Perhaps if Evelyn's plan did come to fruition, we'd be talking a different tune. Next up is another super introduced in the sequel, Helectrix. As the name implies, Helectrix's powers are electricity based. Zapping things electrically, charging things. Not only can he create lightning with his hands, but he can also manipulate already existing currents of electricity. It's certainly a powerful set of skills, but unfortunately for Helectrix, he has some rather glaring shortcomings. For one, he doesn't appear to have a grasp on his powers just yet, as evidenced by how he accidentally shocks others. His powers can even be used against him, as he electrocutes himself at one point in the film. Like the other wannabe supers, he failed to defeat the Incredibles' children while under the control of Screenslaver. While they have superpowers too, if there's one thing that doesn't inspire confidence in your own abilities, it's a failure to defeat a group of kids. While he definitely shows potential, Electrix is clearly a super in training. It's best to work on those powers a bit before you can join the big leagues. Up next is Void. A big Elastigirl fan, Void is gifted the ability to create portals. These portals can do everything, from teleporting civilians safely away from danger to redirecting projectiles thrown her way. While it's one of the more useful powers we've looked at, Void's abilities do have their drawbacks. Her portals can be pretty unstable, for example. They depend on certain gestures and can only follow her line of sight. If Void cannot clearly see the area, she can't create a portal in that vicinity. Void's lack of training also brings out some unpredictable qualities in the portals. However, these shortcomings don't weigh her down the same way Electrics or Reflux's issues do. Void was invaluable in helping Elastigirl stop Evil Endeavor from escaping, and she successfully managed to get both of them to safety via her portals. Void has some trouble honing her powers, but she shows a lot of potential, earning her this spot on the list. The last of the Incredibles 2 wannabe supers, Crushaw, is our next pick. On the surface, Crushar looks like another hero that relies on super strength and nothing more, almost like Mr. Incredible. However, that couldn't be less the case. Super strength is just one power that Crushar has. The real meat to his power set comes from his telekinesis. Crushar can crush things with only his mind. What's even more fascinating is that he can actually undo the effect too. Like a lot of individuals with super strength, Crushar is also invulnerable to a lot of things that would have knocked out prior supers on this list. Out of all the second-rate heroes we've covered on this list, Crushar is definitely the strongest out of all of them. Want proof? When they all became mind-controlled, he was the last one left standing. Between a unique power set and being skilled enough to use it well, Crushar is more than deserving of the title of superhero. The villain of the original Incredibles movie, Syndrome, flies into our next slot. After being betrayed by his idol, Mr. Incredible, Syndrome became a supervillain, intent on killing every superhero until only himself remained. All I wanted was to help you. I only wanted to help! While he doesn't have any actual powers, Syndrome's library of weapons make him more than a match than many of the real heroes we've covered so far. Syndrome's main weapons are a pair of gauntlets that he wears on his arms. With these, he can freeze targets and toss them around, making for an extremely dangerous ability. He is also outfitted with rocket boots, which gives him the ability to fly. 
Additionally, Syndrome can shoot bolts of energy, which are deadly to any caught in their way. Besides an impressive arsenal, Syndrome is also the brains behind the Omnidroids. These large robots are incredibly powerful, as evidenced by their primary directive of destroying all superheroes. Though he lacks any powers, Syndrome has more than made up for them through his sheer intellect. We also can't forget the amount of heroes he has killed through the Omnidroids, making him all the more powerful. The only characters we placed higher than him are all those who led to his downfall, which only further proves how powerful Syndrome is. Superpowers or not, this is one fanboy you don't want to make mad. Sliding in just out of our top 5 is Lucius Best, better known as Frozone. Frozone is, as you can guess from his name, an ice-themed superhero. He can manipulate ice, giving him the ability to shoot ice, freeze objects, and create paths of ice he can travel over. Frozone has also had his share of heroic accomplishments. He helped the Incredibles stop the Omnidroid invasion, making him one of the few supers who fought an Omnidroid and lived to tell the tale. In this sequel, he fought valiantly against the mind-controlled heroes until he himself became one of them. After being freed from the mind control, he helped stop the cruise ship from crashing right into the city of Metroville. Frozone is a skilled fighter who can handle himself well in situations, but he does have his weaknesses. Frozone's powers rely heavily on the amount of air and moisture in his body. If he doesn't have enough, his powers fail to manifest. Being that it is possible for Frozone to not be able to use his main abilities, we can't really place him any higher on this list. Though this is a glaring weakness, Frozone is still one of the most capable supers in the entire Incredibles franchise. Speaking of the Incredibles, racing into the fifth place is Dash Par. From this point on, the entire list will be composed of the Pars, so it really becomes a question of whose strengths are better than the others. The middle child of the Par family, Dash was gifted with the power of super speed. He can go well over 190 miles per hour, twice the speed of a cheetah, the fastest member of the animal kingdom. With his super speed also comes super reflexes. Dash can dodge obstacles with ease, and he is rarely, if ever, tired when exerting his powers. Dash's speed also makes him able to accomplish some truly insane feats, such as running up the side of buildings and walking on water. Though his skills are impressive, Dash does have some flaws to his powers. The most obvious flaw is that it isn't the most practical superpower in combat. While all the other members of the Par family have some sort of ability that is good for the offense, Dash does not. Another drawback to Dash's abilities is the fact that he is still a child. Because of this, Dash's powers aren't quite at their full potential just yet. One obvious example of this is in his strength. While he can punch quickly, they don't seem to be any more powerful than the punch of an average child. With that in mind, we have trouble thinking Dash should have a higher spot on this list. Still, Dash is an invaluable part of the Incredibles team and a dedicated member of the superhero cause. If you ever find yourself racing against him, you had best do yourself a favor and quit while you're ahead. In fourth place, we have the oldest child in the Incredibles family, Violet Parr. Violet has a lot of greatness to her abilities, but she also has her fair share of weaknesses. Before we get into that, however, let's touch on what she can do. Violet can turn herself invisible, although her clothing is not affected by the ability. Another one of her main powers are these force fields she can conjure. They are used mostly for defensive purposes, but they can be used as a weapon against others. If she is in one of her force fields, then she is even given the ability of levitation. Violet does have a useful set of powers, but like we said earlier, she does have more weaknesses than any other member of the Incredibles. For one, her powers do have the effect of draining her energy. She cannot use her powers for forever, and trying to do so will only make her weaker. Her force fields are also not impenetrable. If enough force is applied to them, they will break. In worse circumstances, the breaking of the shield can lead to her getting injured in the process, as seen in the first film when an Omnidroid disrupted her shield. Though she has her shortcomings, Violet has made the best of her powers. 
She and Dash saved each other several times when they came to Syndrome's lair. She was also of great assistance when the Omnidroid came to attack the city. Violet has also been able to defeat other, older heroes such as Void when they became controlled by the Screen Slaver's mind goggles. Though she is still in the process of learning her powers, Violet shows a lot of potential even through her flaws, and has an all-around more workable power set than Dash does. With a good set of powers and accomplishments, Violet is a clear choice for fourth place. Get it? <laughs> clear? <laughs> I think I'll see myself out. Entering the top three, we have to give the bronze medal of power to Elastigirl. Helen Parr's main ability is the power to stretch herself. She can stretch up to 300 feet, and she is granted many other powers through her elasticity. She is very agile and extremely durable. She can also shapeshift into various objects, such as a boat. She is also skilled at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and her elasticity makes her especially dangerous in a face-to-face -face fight. Her ability to stretch also gives her the chance to sneak around unsuspecting individuals, which she did when infiltrating Syndrome's base in the first movie. We also have to note that Elastigirl has the added bonus of experience, which both Violet and Dash lack. She isn't burdened by having to learn her powers like they are. In a battle between the entire Incredibles family, this would give her a nice advantage over the two of them. Like the other members of the family, she is also proficient in saving the day from villainy. She saved Metroville from Syndrome's Omnidroid and also stopped Evelyn Dever from escaping during the second movie's climax. Dever controls the screen slaver and until a second ago, us. The only major weakness Elastigirl has is that when in extremely cold temperatures, she can no longer use her powers. Being the only character out of the top three to have a glaring weakness, we have to put her in third place. But even with her weakness noted, Elastigirl is easily one of the most capable and most powerful heroes in the Incredible Universe. With a varied skill set and good experience, it makes perfect sense for her to be the earner of our bronze medal. In second place, our silver medal of power goes to Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack may just look like an ordinary baby, but as they say, appearance can be deceiving. In his case, those words could not be more true. Jack-Jack has well over a dozen abilities, giving him the most variety in terms of powers of any other character on our list. Starting us off, Jack-Jack has various forms he can swap into. In total, he can take on the form of water, fire, metal, smoke, rubber, sparks, and even a demon form. That's already impressive, but his powers don't stop there. Jack-Jack can also turn into a giant, shoot lasers out of his eyes, create copies of himself, become intangible, and move objects with his mind. Even that is not all of what he is able to do. However, we think the point is clear. Jack-Jack has a lot of powers, and the amount only seems to grow as he ages. The only thing that holds Jack-Jack back is the fact that, well, he's only a baby. He's not yet adept at using his powers, which makes him quite the wild card when the Incredibles are out saving the day. Though he can be unpredictable, Jack-Jack is helped out on more than one occasion. He was able to free himself from Syndrome's grasp, and he also helped his siblings free the other supers from the mind goggles. Despite his age setting him back, the sheer amount of abilities at his disposal make Jack-Jack one dangerous superhero in training. Wrapping things up, we give the gold medal of power to Mr. Incredible himself. Bob Parr's superpower, Super Strength, may not be the most imaginative power, but it does make him a force to be reckoned with. How powerful is Mr. Incredible? The Operation Kronos database gave him a threat rating of 9.1, the highest rating of any superhero in the database. While one would think he's gotten weaker with age, Mr. Incredible appears to be just as strong now as he was during the glory days. In regards to sheer strength, he is able to bench press a locomotive which weighs well over 100 tons. He was also able to defeat an Omnidroid all by his lonesome. 
None of the other superheroes at this point were even able to survive an encounter with an Omnidroid, let alone defeat it. If that doesn't show you how strong Mr. Incredible is, we don't know what will. With Mr. Incredible's strength also comes invulnerability. Mr. Incredible is able to withstand everything, from getting hit by a train to being electrocuted by thousands of volts of electricity. He is also very agile being able to make giant leaps that others on this list would have trouble doing. Besides his impressive abilities, Mr. Incredible also is not hindered by any obvious weaknesses. How do you feel? <laughs> Super. His powers don't backfire on him, and he isn't burdened by having to learn his abilities either. With all this in mind, Mr. Incredible feels like the obvious choice for the most powerful character in the Incredibles franchise. But let us know in the comments section if you agree with our ranking, and tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit that notification bell and binge our Weak to Powerful playlist, where we break down who the most powerful characters are in your favorite cartoons, shows, and movies. But most importantly, stay wicked.